Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through keywords versus search terms. I'm going to walk you through the differences and really how you should view them inside of your Google Ads account. So to start off, what is a search keyword? And a search keyword is a keyword we want our ad to display for. So we can go in, we can make a whole bunch of keywords. We can change the match types with them, which will allow for greater or lesser visibility for our ad. So this is really the most important thing here. And I think a lot of people get it confused, which is having the proper match type will really impact the amount of search terms you get. So a search keyword is the actual keyword we want to bid for. So maybe it's digital marketing company, maybe it's fencing installation company, maybe it's HVAC, whatever it is, there's a keyword you want your ad to appear for. And that's the keyword we're actually going to be targeting. And what the difference between a keyword and search terms are is the search terms themselves are the actual terms people have typed in. So just because you want your ad to appear for digital marketing company, if you leave this in broad match, your ad can appear for a whole bunch of different search terms. So an example of this could be digital marketing company near me, which is slightly different, but it's different enough that it's not identical to the actual keyword. Now with broad match, this can vary quite greatly. It could have your own competitors pop up for search terms. And a lot of the time people will put their actual match types into broad match and they lose a lot of money because they're just popping up for everything. So as you can see here, all our keywords are set to broad match and I'll show you our search terms here. And as you can see, there is a whole bunch of different search terms. Most of these we didn't actually want to actually be bidding on for our search keywords. But as you can see, they're quite different. And you can just take a few examples here. Marketing ads, marketing company Japan, marketing for small business. These are all things people actually typed into Google. And they're liable to pop up because all of our search keywords here are in broad match. If these were in exact match or phrase match, chances are they wouldn't be so lenient and we'd be popping up for less stuff and we'd be popping up for more closely related things to like digital marketing, online marketing. And as you can see here, there's a nice little diagram. It shows you the actual differences. So broad match here, anything that would relate to lawn aeration prices, you're liable to pop up for. Phrase match, you're only liable to pop up for a few things near here. And then exact match, exact match keywords are very, very closely knit together and you're only gonna pop up for slight variations. Google's gotten a little bit more lenient with exact match, but it's still very tightly knit and you're going to be popping up for very similar keywords. You're not gonna be popping up generally for competitor keywords. You're not gonna be popping up for uh, discount, free, cheap, stuff like that. That is pretty different than the actual exact match we're going after. But if you're typing in broad, maybe even phrase match, you are liable to pop up for that stuff. So that's really the difference between search keywords and search terms. Search keywords are the actual keyword we want our ads to appear for. Search terms is what they actually do pop up for. So sometimes it's different. Now for today's video sponsor, if you're interested in building out your own Google ads campaign, and maybe you don't have a website, maybe you don't have a whole bunch of, you know, tracking software, stuff like that, and you just want to run basics and bring in leads to your business and get your phone ringing, the call only ads course does that to a T. It's absolutely fantastic. It shows you step by step on how to build a call only campaign. It shows you how to optimize it. It shows you the theory that goes in behind actually running and creating a better and ever improving campaign. It's absolutely phenomenal. Again, it's super simple step by step. It shows you everything you need to bring in high quality leads month after month and consistently build your campaign and optimize it so you stay ahead of your competition. Now that's it for today's video. If you have any comments, regarding keywords, search terms, negative keywords, whatever it is, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.